To another commentary, Don Bay Diggity. This is going to be another ZVZ. Bottom left and corner, we have Striker starting as the blue Zerg. That is Striker SC on Twitch TV. Bottom right hand corner, we have Hawk, which I think is Hawk SC. If not, check the description. It will have the streamer information. This is going to be on Largo, which I'm not sure if that's going to be all that relevant in a ZVZ matchup. It is a larger, more macro oriented map. Well, it's a larger map. Uh, four player. It's kind of got this cool. I like the design of it. It's just very aesthetically pleasing. Overlord moving to the north for Hawk. Overlord moving to the right, bottom right-hand corner. So it is possible Strike will get an advantage from that Overlord scout right off the bat. But you have a standard natural expansion with a little bit of a wide gap. You can see where Mutalisks can get a good position to at least harass these three mineral piles on the left. Mineral only natural, or sorry, mineral only nearby, which is fairly wide open. You can see where there's even this high, I don't know how... This is going to play out because you have this high ground ridge for some of the matchups that are leading right into that base. Three o'clock location with a little bit more of a closed off space. I'm almost wondering if players are going to go for this instead, even though it's a little bit further away to defend. That's a lot of territory to cover. But anyway, it's one of those interesting maps where it does have a lot of resources, but the, being able to secure... Basically, map control is huge on this map. Uh, ZVZ, I don't know how much that's going to play out, but it does seem like... In particular with mutalisks and things like that, being able to secure, it looks like, by the way, we're seeing a 12 pool with gas on one side. I believe Hawk is going for, well, 11 hatch, uh, opposite corner. So Hawk going with the economic play. By the way, BSL thir Season 13 has started. If you are a player and watching this, go ahead and join in that tournament. Check out all the information on teamliquid.net. I'm excited about that. I'm close to the end of the North American team battle replays that I have. Overlord's going to go ahead and sneak and see that expansion. After I'm done with these, I'm going to go ahead and start on some replays I have from BSL, and I'll try to do as much BSL stuff as I can uh, before the official tournament. I think Chobu League Ladder Tours are going to be to start. And also be sure if you... I'm not sure when this comes out in comparison, but go check out Gypsy versus Scan on Artosis' channel. Those are some really fun matchups. Now let me actually dive into the game itself. I feel like I'm doing all this announcement stuff. And covering the map rather than... And ZVZ is so fast. Anyway, Zergling Speed opening up. Quick layer for Striker. He's only building, it looks like, a pair of Zerglings, though, upon seeing this 12th hatchery. Perhaps because he realizes that the advantage he's going to get is not in... Because he's going to be behind in overall larva, larva production momentarily. Because Hawk's going to have the second hatchery up. Hawk is going to be behind in his layer timing. As you can see, the spawning pool is kicking in just now. And he might even opt to go for Zergling... He might, now the question is, is, does he skip, these are kind of the issues, do you skip Zergling speed in Hawk's position here? Because if you skip Zergling speed, so yeah, he's going to skip Zergling speed initially to get a layer. That layer is still going to be somewhat behind. Some Zerglings are moving out for Striker. He's going to have that Zergling speed advantage for a longer period of time, but Hawk is going to have superior larva production with the Zerglings in the short term. And I like that Striker's actually pushing up to get aggressive with his Zerglings a little bit to keep Hawk a l more preoccupied where Hawk isn't just going to be able to produce because Hawk's play here is, is trying to force Hawk to be more defensive even though he's got that larva production advantage and if you can get speed zerglings on top of regular zerglings they just have better AI and there's a small window where that is the case and Striker looking to utilize his zerglings in that space to provide even more time and actually harassing that hatchery a little bit of Hawk's he wants to buy even more time so that he can go ahead and get that spire timing up even further. It looks like, man, it almost feels like it's on times two because of all the stuff I was doing earlier. But so he's got that timing right now. And I like the, the window that kind of creates as well, where Hawk is just waiting. He's just letting that hatchery take damage while his own speed comes online. He's continuing to produce a lot of Zerglings. And what that's allowing Striker to do is Striker is going to be able to, yeah, he's going to have that spire up, but he's going to have to uh, buy the in big engage the natural expansion Hawk getting better concavity and also just better engagement overall. So Striker going to retreat immediately. This is just before Zergling Speed's coming online. And he's actually splitting off a control group to the north here, interestingly enough. So you got eight Zerglings, or sorry, ten Zerglings moving from the south. It looks like they're sweeping around just to make sure, actually like that play, just to make sure some Zerglings didn't split, split off from Striker. Striker now needs to hold his ramp and wait for Mutalis to come online. The Spire is just finishing. Will he be able to hold this? Zerglings now moving up, and there's just overwhelming amounts of Zerglings for Hawk. Hawk now pressing in, using the advantages he has. The Sunken Colony is not there yet, so the drones are very exposed. They're having to group up, and he'll be lucky if he doesn't lose at like two or three drones right here. It looks like the Zerglings are pressing through, still chasing the drones. The drones drilling back and forth. 
Hawk not getting a lot of drone kills out of that, though. Striker still sitting on nine drones overall. Hawk with a sizable lead, but now the Mulusks are coming into play, and the Lair, or sorry, the uh, Spire is just about to finish. Creep Colony dropping down. I'm wondering if Hawk is going to build an evolution chamber. The Mutalisks are moving out. He's got that Sunken Colony with a ton of health, so he's not worried about this group of six Zerglings. Maybe they could pick off a drone or two. So currently, Hawk has the economic lead. There is the Spore Colony morphing in. Drones evacuating. Really heads up play there from Hawk. He's actually moving the drones out towards his main. The Spore Colony is still morphing in. There's a moment here where this can do some, some play, but... Hawk diving in, getting some additional drone kills, dropping Striker's drone count to six. And with the Spore Colonies coming online, Hawk with a gigantic lead, his spork, his uh, Spire now up, and he's getting those Mutalisks together. So Hawk looks like he's going to win this basically through nice defense and really the Zergling bust. And then I don't want to call it just straight build order when Hawk executed what he had well. Striker putting Hawk into the red momentarily, but at the moment, and I'm not going to say it's, you know, this is game, because there are ways to sneak back, but things are looking a little bit dire for Striker. Hawk's one Mutalisk wandering out looks like a, not sure, maybe a miss rally, so it's kind of rallied to that corner, eating some free damage. Striker making something of it, actually able to pick a Mutalisk off on the corner. So Hawk with... The economic advantage currently. Some Zerglings are starting to move out. If the Zerglings can get on top of the Spore, could even things up. Now, here's the thing. Two bases are up. So, Larva advantage is there from Hawk. He's got... Looks like a seven drone lead overall. But this natural expansion doesn't have that second gas yet. So, Striker might be able to equalize things. Actually, moving up. I love this. Striker's got the superior Mutalisk count for the moment. And the Mutalisks are out of position. So... He's going to go ahead and take down the second hatchery. He needs to get reinforcements back towards his main. Otherwise, he's going to lose all the rest of his drones because Hawk going for a counterattack at the main. And that might be all the drones here. And is, this might turn into an elimination match situation here. The Zerglings moving in. There's only a single drone left. No drones left on Striker's side. But it's Zerglings and Mutalists overhead. So Striker can wipe out all of these bases before these potentially before these Mutalisks wipe anything else off. Hawk might end up losing this match altogether. The drones evacuating. The Zerglings trying to do what they can. Hawk is not. He has seven drones left, but he's not mining either. The Mutalisks trying to run up and pick off Mutalisks while they have superior numbers. But now Striker up one Mutalisk. So it's seven. Keep in one, mind one of them is severely damaged. There's still Zerglings underneath. The drones trying to make their way back. Striker's got to win this with what he has. One Mutalisk out of position and ungrouped. The rest of the Mutalisk diving in. Maybe he can get some free shots right here. Now regathering. These Zerglings working on the lair. These Mutalisks trying to buy them time to do their work. And it looks like through the Muta Micro, it's going to be four Mutalisks still surviving for Hawk. And it looks like Hawk is going to win this just by an edge he has mutalisks left overhead to pick off these zerglings so striker <laughs> making a game of it from a rough situation but hawk taking the game overall i like that striker so despite like early disadvantages there striker still doing a lot just to get back on this match really exciting zvz check out both these guys you have hawk uh, I think I already mentioned, check them out on Twitch. Look at the description, follow them. If you see them streaming, say, hey, saw you on Diggity Stream. Those are, you guys produce amazing matches, etc., etc. Sing their praises. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.